Working up the California coast, we've landed at a spot with big caves and super steep hikes. This is Pinnacles National Park. It's so cool. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Pinnacles National Park. We rolled in about probably like 1 a.m. last night. There isn't that thing. It makes me more uncomfortable than arriving to a campsite at dark. A lot less scary in the daylight. But we got a full day here, full day, full night. We're gonna try to get everything in. Super excited. We got a lot of work to do, let's do it. Here's yours. Thanks. We've got, We've got hard boiled eggs going right now, yeah. but I just got this brand new Blackstone from the Spice Boys. We're gonna give that a roll for the very first time today. I'm super excited. Flat top, 17 incher. We're gonna make some bacon and eggs. That's the one, uh, men with the pot. Oh okay. yeah. The... There we go. <laughs> <laughs> So the camp store and the visitor center are combined, we found out, Same after thing. searching for it. <laughs> 12 down, 51 to go. <laughs> this time of day, what you might want to do is go this route, because when you're over here, you're more likely to see condors flying here than if you went this way. Alright, let's hit the trail. The Bear Gulch Trail, go down to the reservoir, get the caves, and then we're gonna do the High Peaks Trail, and that's where people have been reporting seeing some uh, California candors. So we're gonna give it a whirl, see what we can do. Saying condor? Condor. Condor. Oh. The largest bird in North America, the California condor, weighs in at an intimidating 20 pounds and has a wingspan of up to 10 feet. They are scavengers that have a lifespan of around 60 years, but don't get them confused with the turkey vultures. The key difference is found on the underside of the wing, where the turkey vulture has white feathers on the trailing edges, and the condor has a white triangle on the leading edge. Additionally, turkey vultures fly in a V shape, and condors fly flat. This is really a cave. This is like more of like a big pile up of boulders that you're like underneath. It's called something. I'll, I'll look it up though. This cave is not your typical grand cavern. It's actually a unique formation called a talus cave, which is formed by large boulders that erode off steep cliffs into the canyon. There are two of these systems within the park. We are currently in the Bear Gulch Caves on the east side, and the Balconies Caves are found in the west. Right out of the caves. Lucky for us, we came to the park during the tarantula mating season, 
where males will come out of their burrows in search for a bride. Fun fact, males will actually die within a year of mating if the female doesn't eat them first. This must be a super popular rock climbing spot because we see signs everywhere. Watch out for rock climbers. Down there, that looks like the perfect climbing rock if I've ever seen one. Alrighty, we've got this thing called the Steep and Narrow. It's pretty steep and narrow. Pinnacles had actually been a national monument since 1908, but with growth in acreage and popularity, in 2013, President Barack Obama made Pinnacles the 59th National Park, making it one of the newest on our list. That's way harder going down. Surrounded by deep greens, burnt oranges, and a splash of burgundy, this trail covered most of the must-see spots in Pinnacles. The route we hiked was a 6-mile, 1,600-foot elevation loop through the caves, reservoirs, and the steep and narrow. You can find the All Trails link to this trail and other itinerary shortcuts for you in the description below. Civilization! Finally! That was a beautiful hike. That was that was awesome. Six miles took us like three or four hours, and we were we were taking our time. Yeah. And we got to see caves. We got to see a lot of birds. I don't think we saw any condors, unfortunately. Candors. Candors. <laughs> All right. Now I'm hungry. We got to get dinner. Come on, come on. What do you think? It's nice. Feels like I'm actually in a kitchen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. How is it? That's really good. That's really good. The yeah, that's, that's all I can say. It's great. There we go. Have to do for now. Nice. <laughs> Pinnacles National Park honestly felt more like a state park to me. But the camp store and visitor center were warm and welcoming, feeling like you were in a summer camp. On the other hand, there were many large school groups and Boy Scout groups that took away a lot of the wilderness effect that you see in most national parks. That being said, the park was definitely not a dud. The beautiful colors, unique landscape, and giant birds gave us the opportunity to learn about a completely new ecosystem. Speaking of giant... Kira and I are headed to the airport to pick up my brother Luke and his wife Olivia where we are set to walk among the tallest trees in the world. We will see you in Redwood National Park in two weeks. Alright. <laughs> Run!